We are at Ayang Cafe, one of the most popular cafe in Kota Baru. And look at this bread, guys. We got some dessert for later on, we got some toast and eggs, and we got a bunch of rice. Different types of rice that is that are famous in Kelantan. So we're gonna try them all today. Oh, I don't know where to start. Where so to start? many food. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's go. Let's get eating. Okay, let's start with the roti ayang. Mm, it's like really thick toast with kaya spread and eggs on top. Look at the thickness of the bread, it's amazing. Mm. <laughs> okay, we're sweet. <laughs> you gotta save space, Ivana. We got a lot of food to go. The toast is really thick, and you can taste the butter on it. Mm. And also the kaya and the eggs makes it really creamy and rich. Mm. I gotta say, with your pink shirt and pink hat, you look like you work here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really good. There you have it. So they also got what it's called roti kasi. It's similar to roti ayam, but this one got strawberry flavors in it. So. Oh yeah, you can see it's slightly pink. Yeah. Look at that. Pink seems to be the theme here. Wow, put that in slow motion and make everybody at home hungry. Huh? Wow, look at that egg. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. 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 This one is sweeter than the other one. Mm. <laughs> mm. Really good as well, similar. All right, so continuing the bread portion of our video, uh, this looks like peanut crumble and some sort of white, I'm sure, sweet, sugary, it's almost like dessert breakfast. I think that is condensed milk. Condensed milk yeah. and peanuts on it. Looks quite yummy, actually. I'm sure it's quite filling. In Canada, we would have donuts. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's good? It is like a donut. The bread is nice and soft and fresh. Mm -hmm. And look at the thickness of the bread. It's like a full, you know, three centimeters, more than an inch. Really good, Ivana. I don't know how we're gonna finish all this food. Really good. Mm. I can't stop. Mm. Take one bite, man. I've also got this one here, which looks like a uh, sandwich almost. Oh, it's like no, nice. it's one piece French, of bread. Like French toast. I thought it was a sandwich almost, because it's so thick. It's like French toast. It's like French toast with kaya. Uh, right, kaya here? Yeah. Do they even have kaya in Canada? I never no, saw it. I think it's only in Malaysia or maybe in Singapore. Very Malaysian. Yeah. Very nice. It's kind of a replacement for maple syrup. Right. For all of these desserts in Canada, we would put maple syrup. By the way, but here I they have kaya. I think the kaya is green because it has pandan. Mm. So oh, this is the winner. You like it? Oh, it's so good, Ivana. This oh. is a French toast with kaya. Wow, it's good, Ivana. Oh. And the bread they got is so thick and good quality. The bread really makes a difference. Oh. This is so good, Ivana. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to eat with my hands, but I'm just going for it. Mm. Mm. This is what you get. Wow. Nice. What's this, Ivana? I think that's just a regular toast with kaya inside. Toast with kaya. Mm. I'm going to double down on the kaya. Oh. Kaya dip. With kaya filling. Oh. <laughs> It's just nice too because it's crispy. Give you something else. Mm. <laughs> I'm ready. You're gonna be dual handed here. This, Ivana, the French toast is so moist and rich and filling. All right. Mm. Save and this some is crispy. Space. Mm. Save some space. This is crazy. Okay, one more. Just to, just to complete the trio. You've got French what? toast, and you've got toasted, and you've got these guys, which are like little. Uh, pow. Or pow. Pow, it's right, right, right. Yeah, With kaya. Yeah. Mm. So which one is your favorite? Oh, this one might be the winner. It's so soft. <laughs> Each one you tried is like the winner, one after another. So far. Yeah. Whoa, we want to try this. Pow. The pow is so soft, guys. You don't even have to chew it. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. They just made it five seconds ago. Mm -hmm. It's warm and soft. Mm -hmm. So good. <laughs> How so are we soft. gonna finish all this food? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's move on to the rice then. Um. Yes. Let's go to the rice section of right my video. <laughs> I could go for some more French toast. So mm. good. Oh. And don't be shy on the kaya, guys. Whatever you do, don't be shy on the kaya. Oh, this one. The French toast, five stars. Ah. 
Mm. There you have it. There you have it, guys. Okay, um, rice portion. We've only got nine rice dishes, so not many. <laughs> A lot, man. <laughs> Crazy amount. Okay, let's slide over. Whoa, look at that. Where do you start, guys? Whoa, look at Where do you spread. start? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'll start right in front of me. Why not? Nasi uh, lemak. Nasi lemak. Oh, you got, actually chose the one with uh, anchovies in it. Wow. I'm going to try it, Anna. I'm going to see if I can level up. Okay. So the idea here is all these rices are in different packages. At the front, there's a whole bunch of baskets. And I think each one is made from a different restaurant. And this is just kind of like where different restaurants sell their food. That's right, right? Yes. So every day, the menu could be slightly different, which is kind of exciting. So this is actually nasi lemak with... Uh, what is that? I think it's coconut Sabo? stuff. I don't sambal. think so. Oh, sambal, okay. Looks quite nice. Who doesn't like nasi lemak? I mean, this is such good stuff. Mmm, very good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, let's try a little bit of anchovy. Wow, Steve is trying anchovies. Edible. It's good. Wow. Come on Before I leave Malaysia, I'm gonna like anchovy. <laughs> this is a goal. It's nice. a long term goal. That's but uh, if you put it in with sambal and, and uh, the nasi lemak coconut rice, it doesn't taste as strong. Wow, very nice. I'm gonna try what's in front of me is nasi daga. So I think, I believe this is tuna fish. Mm. By the way, the nasi dagang here is different than the one in Terengganu. It got some brown rice in it, or like wild rice. Right. Mm -hmm. And the, the sauce here is thicker, so let's try. Oh, it looks good. Mm. Mm. The sauce is a little bit sweeter. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the fishy is not fish, and the fish is not fishy at all. It's really good, and you can taste the uh, coconut sauce in it. It's not spicy at all. It's just like kind of sweet and savory, but it's mm. not spicy. It's really good. There you have it. Mm -hmm. it's okay, go for this one, Iwana. Which one? Satay. Mm. I feel lucky I got the satay because I like satay. <laughs> It's hard to have bad satay. Mm -hmm. Satay is like pizza. Okay. If you don't want it bad, it's good. Peanut sauce mm. with some packet rice or compressed rice. Mm -hmm. mm. I think this is chicken. Yeah. Mm. Am I right to think that chicken satay is the original satay? Mm. I think no. it started as chicken. Mm -hmm. mm. Quite nice. Good. A little bit sweet. And you can taste the turmeric in it. Mm. As you can see, the satay was uh, marinated in yellow spices. I think that's turmeric. Right. So it's really good as well. Pretty nice. Mm. Okay, nasi tumpang. Now the idea here is, in simpler times, this first section would be breakfast, second one would be lunch, and this one would be dinner. But now in uh, 2020, we have nine rices for breakfast. Three layers. <laughs> By the way, I think nasi tupang is the most famous rice dish in Kelantan. If I'm yes, not wrong. very local from Kelantan. So each one is separated. This one is chicken floss, and this one is a prawn. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Um, you can get a nice bite like that with some oof, throwing food across the table with some nice stuff in there. Nice. Mm. Amazing how the rice is almost one grain. It's all one piece. Oh. You really can't feel the different grains of rice. It's I really compressed into almost like a new, it's almost like a different food. Yeah. It's all compressed like so well. Cake or something. Almost like a cake. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's a different chewing experience than rice. It's like a tupa, right? It's like a tupa. Mm -hmm. mm. okay. Really good. And let's be clear, guys. We will bring all this home with us. Yeah. We're not going to waste it. We certainly can't finish it all now, but we will bring everything with us and uh, probably have enough food for two days here. <laughs> really good food though. Let's have one more bite of this. It's really addictive. Um, the way the chicken floss is in with the uh, rice. The rice is so unique that it's all stuck together. That's really nice. Mm. 
Mm. Quite nice. Let's try the uh, prawn part here. So this is the same kind of rice with uh, prawn and prawn sauce. Looks really good. Nasi Dumpang. This is one of my favorites. It's yeah, such a nice so. shape too, the cone shape. Yeah, and it's, it's nice... easy for breakfast. It's not messy. Mm. It's not messy. You know how rice dishes can be messy sometimes? Good point. It's all together. You can almost cut it with a knife. Yeah. Use your spoon as a knife and slice up your rice and scoop it. That's right. Very controllable. Very nice. Uh, one of my favorites. Nasi Dumpang. Let's slide over to the right here. Oh. What's happening here? This is fish. Yeah. So this is called uh, nasi berlauk. Nasi, nasi berlauk. Okay. We wrote all the names on the paper. <laughs> That's our only way of keeping track. Um, let's try this, Ivana. So obviously I'm eating anchovies now. That's a step up. This looks like tuna. I think it's tuna? Yeah, I think it's tuna. Tuna With some curry. and a pineapple in there. Oh, pineapple. Curry, pineapple, and tuna. This might be really good for me. I love pineapple. Mmm. Good? Wow. Mm. Steve liking fish. This is one of the favorites. Now what is this? Is it oh, pepper? Oh, sambal. It's a eggplant. Eggplant, sambal, eggplant, sambal. fish, and a little bit of rice. Uh, There's a bite for you. Look at that. That's a masterpiece. That's a good yeah. And got some sambal in there. Mmm. Mmm. Good? Whoa, spicy. Really good. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. I think you got all the sambal in that eggplant. <laughs> I think you're right. I didn't mix it very good. <laughs> you didn't mix it. Oh yeah, here comes the sweat. <laughs> wow. How's the yellow sauce? Uh, it's really good, Ivana. This one is so flavorful. Cucumber and rice. This one here deserves uh, a five star. Ding! Wow, five stars for that one. Mmm. Nice. What more for me? I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll. This looks like rendang. Yeah, it looks like it. What is it called? Daging Tarantu. Daging Tarantu. We, yeah. we all know that rendang is my favorite food on earth, so I'm assuming this is going to be amazing. Mm. Tastes like rendang? Whoa. Spicy. Really good. Not spicy. Very soft. Very good. I can't stop. This one's addictive. Mm. Oh, what? Mm. Oh. That might be. Uh, what? Mmm. Is the meat, is it soft? So soft and so, the way they slow cook rendang, it's not rendang, but it's similar. The way they slow cook it, it's so soft. You just put it in your mouth and you just press your tongue on it and it just falls apart. So good. Mmm. Nice. Mmm. One of my favorites. Good. Seriously good. I can't stop. <laughs> Seriously good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Five stars. Ah, ah. Bonus star, six oh, stars. Wow. So that's six your stars. So far. Right now, this is a standout. Okay. So good, six stars. Can't stop. Nice. Mm. Okay, so I got nasi karabu here. We've tried nasi karabu a bunch of time before, but it never gets old because we just love it so much. Especially me because I like veggies, mm. and I like I just like the fresh taste of the vegetable of the ulam on top of the rice, and I just like the blue color. Mm. I just like the blue color because it looks pretty. So let's try it. I think this one has uh, meat in it. Dugging. Oh, Look at yeah, that. yeah. Oh. oh, that's a good bite. Oh, yeah, Ivana. <gasps> there you have it. Mm. I always wonder if nasi karabu is nasi or salad. It's almost <laughs> like salad. <laughs> so mm -hmm. good. Mm. Mm. And it got like coconut shredded. Shredded coconut on top, mm. which make the rice taste so good too. Mm. And the dugging, the meat, is good. You can also go get it with ayam and everything. That's good. Nice. Mm. It looks so good. Just the color of it. Oh, mm -hmm. it looks so tantalizing. Makes so fresh, hungry. right? So fresh and delicious. And you got some sambal and some budu, which mm. you kind of don't like. But when you put budu in nasi krabu, you point. love it. It's amazing there's budu in there. Mm -hmm. Budu to me is very bad, and nasi karabu is very good. Mm. Mm. With the rice itself, I don't think I taste anything if I just eat the blue rice. Mm. But with the combination of all the fresh herbs, fresh veggies, coconut, sambal, budu, it's like become magical. Wow. So good. Mm. Good description. This is 
probably one of my favorite nasi dish in Malaysia. Wow. Nasi karabu. Mm. There you have it. Mm -hmm. That's Five my stars. phrase. Five stars. Good job. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this one is uh, called pulut pagi. And this one is called nasi impet. Mm. So let's try the pulut. Pulut is sticky rice. Glutinous rice. And it has some shredded coconut, fresh shredded coconut, and some black beans. Look at that. Let's try this. I thought that was chocolate. <laughs> black beans. Look at that. Coconut, black beans, and sticky rice. The beans is kind of sweet, mm. but the coconut is like savory. Malaysians tend to mix sweet and savory together. Mm. Mm. Really good. So mm. is that considered dessert or a meal? I think it's a breakfast. Breakfast. Wow, sweet and savory breakfast. Yeah, That's amazing. sweet and savory. <laughs> and I think the next one is also going to be sweet and savory. We tried this one before. It's another compressed rice, not sticky or glutinous, and then you mix it with this kind of like a coconut with gula melaka mix. Uh, it's kind of like a jam. I'm not sure what to call it. Kind of like a paste. Look at mm. this. Mm. Yeah, this one is really good, actually. Really sweet, and it just hits your taste mm. buds so nice. And it's the texture favorite. of the rice is so special. That compressed rice. So far, nasi impet is my favorite. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know what they put in this little paste, but it's so good. It's like, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's sweet and sa and, and savory and like, you got like some spices. I can't explain it. So good. Mm. Addictive. Mm -hmm. Six stars for nasi impet. Wow, bonus star. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, nasi ayam chobek. Looks like, uh, almost looks like chicken rendang. With all this gravy, all this gravy everywhere. I think first bite, we'll just go rice and gravy. See what we can taste in here. Oh, it's really good, Ivana. Oh, it's really good. Um, a bit like rendang again. Certainly, I would say coconut base. Seems like most of the sauces in Malaysia, coconut base. It's a little bit spicy. It's, uh, it's really good. It seems like uh, all the rice has some type of gravy mm. put on top of the rice. I'm right. wondering, so do they all taste the same for you or do they taste different for you? No, there's definitely differences. Different tastes. Definitely differences. Mm -hmm. um, the way the meat is cooked, if it's beef or fish or chicken, as well as the gravy is slightly different for each one. Mm -hmm. Plus some of them have a little bit of vegetable which changes texture. They're all different. Right, and this one is like a little bit more red, and that one is a little bit more yellow, maybe yep. more turmeric in that one, yep. more chili in that one, I yep. don't know, but it's not spicy, right? A little bit spicy. A little bit spicy, yeah, more chili. Mm. So, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. And this one is like peanut sauce, so different types of sauce, yep. really. This one is rice with um, coconut inside. Yeah. This one is compressed rice, slightly different uh, outcome, even though same ingredients. Yeah. Amazing, quite, quite right? amazing, it's yeah, very, yeah. Very creative. Mm -hmm. What you can do with like just one ingredient, but yeah. creating all these different yeah. types of rice. Yeah. If you were a real foodie, you could you could uh, have fun trying to guess what's inside, how they made it, right. because uh, it's it's slightly different, even though it looks similar. Right. Very mm. chicken. Chicken. Mm. Oh, that looks so good when you bite mm. into it. Okay. They must have boiled it or something. It's so soft. The way it comes off the so bone soft. so easy. Mmm. Mm. Oh, I, you know what? I think mm. they do boil it with all the spices until I think it so. becomes really soft. When the meat comes off the bone that easy, it's so nice to eat. Mm, it's so good. Guys, I'm sweating over here. <laughs> what? Really good. That. Look at all the food, guys. Wow. Actually, I'm not I'm not full yet. I only took like a couple bites. I know. I was being too, too, um, too I'm shy. Still, I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. Good thing we got 10 more desserts to try. Oh, right there. <laughs> oh, Steve. We forgot to try mm. this. That's for you, Ivana. We tried it once before. This is uh, not for me. You remember what it's called? Ektok. E T O K. Yeah, Ektok. Pronounced like Ertok. Uh, that's for you, Ivana. Ertok. I don't even know how to open it. You can figure it out, babe. Oh, how the heck do you open this? Oh, it's so sticky. It's pretty strong. <laughs> dun, 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 how do you open dun, dun. it? <laughs> 
Uh oh. It's so embarrassing. I want to ask someone. Um, you can do it. Come on. <gasps> try um, try squeezing it. Squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> I'm gonna ask. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just got a quick lesson on how to open the okay. air talk. Good. So you have to bite in between this little crack. Bite? Yeah. Let's see. Whoa. See if it works. Break your teeth? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Oh my gosh. Let me look for a smaller one. Slowly. There you go. That sounded good. All broken? You actually broke it to bits. <laughs> wow. Power jaw. So this is the inside. Really small. This uh, little white blob. Mm. Tastes like clam. Like a little version of lokan or uh, clams or oyster. Have it. Yeah. It, okay. But it has some savory flavor. So if you like seafood, you might like this. But if you don't, it's a little fishy. It's a little fishy. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, we missed one for the bread section, Ivana. What is this? This looks like uh, cubes of fresh bread. It reminds me of fondue. With uh, some sort of... Milk? Cream, milk... Let's find out. It's like fondue. Hmm. Can't tell what it is. Milk, right? I think it's milk. Is it sweet? Um, it's super heavy. Sweet? I just, it just, all of my filledness just hit me all at once. <laughs> Um, try Ivana. I can't tell you what it is. I almost think it's, it's like halfway between milk and cheese. It's like cream. Mm. In Canada, we have a, a roti or baguette or bread. Try that. Tell me what it's in it. It's not coconut. I think it's more like cream. 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 Mm -hmm. This is quite nice, but it's quite heavy. Mm. Right? It's like drinking cream. Yeah, it's like drinking cream. Wow. Wow, it's cream. <laughs> it's good though. Or, or uh, evaporated it's milk. It's good though, evaporated milk, that's what yeah. it is. Now, I think this is what's called chekmek, which translates to like beautiful lady, I believe. I think it's sweet potato, uh, deep fried, no, this is something else. <laughs> this is an imposter of chekmek. So it's clearly, I would say, a rice flour product, the way it's all kind of stringy and kind of goopy like that. Sweet or savory? Sweet. Sweet. It's banana? almost like a banana. banana. Yes, wow. it's banana cake. Banana cake. Fried, fried banana cake. Fried banana cake. Wow, you like? This is really good. This is like a guilty pleasure. <laughs> this feels like not something you should have every day, but something you want to have every day. Oh. Wow. It's good, it's so heavy. Wow. I'm getting really full. This okay. is nice, I can have four of these and go to bed. Mm. Either this one or this one. Mm. What is this? I forgot that name. Bite into it. It's like covered in flour. Let me see the inside. Mm. Tapioca or mm -hmm. glutinous rice? Mm. What is it? Reminds me of that thing that I forgot the name of. <laughs> the texture is really sandy. Sandy? You know the thing I'm talking about? It comes in a cake and it's swirled and it's all sandy like that. I have no idea. Mm. Onde onde? No. No. Let me try. Mm. I think it's um, coconut and sugar. Mm. I think so. Just like shredded coconut and sugar mix. Shredded coconut and sugar. It's quite tasty, but it has that funny texture <laughs> where it's like almost like sandy. Right. Like grainy. That's true. It's from the coconut. Shredded coconut. It's from the shredded coconut. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. This is fermented cassava. This one I quite like. I've had before. I don't, I don't know if that one is fermented. Oh, maybe I think not fermented. It's just boiled or something. Oh, boiled. With okay. uh, coconut. There you have it. Not fermented. It's quite good. Mmm. Cassava. There's something you'll never get in Canada. Right? Yeah. Never even seen it. Is it overly sweet? Too sweet? No, or just the, right? the coconut is just perfect on there. The cassava is actually perfectly cooked where it's kind of mushy but still firm. It's not cooked to being limp and it's not like raw where so it's, it's crunchy. Just boiled cassava. Mm hmm. Mmm. That one is probably healthy for you. Just cassava and coconut. 
probably a good This is breakfast. a surprise. I thought this was going to be kind of plain because it's not sugary, not sweet. This is proof you don't need sugar to make it delicious. This is really good, Ivana. Mm. <laughs> Mm, I'm gonna fall asleep. Mm. And this one, I think. Ivana, this is really good. You should try this. This one? Okay, I'll try it. It's so nice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Nice, right? I'm not kidding you. <laughs> this one is very special. I like this one. This is a, this is mm -hmm. a five star. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. I think this one is also from cassava with coconut milk. Let's do it. How do we do this? Pour the milk on top. Figured out how to open these bags. You just pull, and then it comes right off. See, look. Oh man, that's so. I've been picking at them for ten minutes before. Just dump it, babe. Oh, this is oh. not coconut milk. This it's is like something jelly or... defying gravity right now. Okay. Down. Whoa, this is gonna be heavy, Ivana. Oh. This is the texture, honestly. This is the texture of things that I am usually not a fan of. Kind of looks like glue. Where it's almost like eating glue. Yeah, just like. Makes you feel like, oh, I'm not doing nothing but today. The taste might you know? surprise you, even though it's... might surprise you. So I'm just gonna take some of the white glue and mix it with the yellow glue. I'm gonna go for it. We're thinking this is coconut and cassava in jelly form. Oh, it's quite nice. <laughs> it's, almost a, it's almost a trick on your brain. It looks, like a, it looks like a raw egg. Oh, yeah. When you put it in your mouth, your brain goes... It and feels like it's the wrong thing. But, but it, uh, it's quite good. Nice. It's probably cooling in your throat, right? The, um, the white part is so creamy. It's almost like a raw egg. It's so slippery and amazing. Is it and the yellow part's kind of grabbing my, you know, grab your tongue a little more. The white one is like, you put your tongue on it and it squirts over here, over there, and you can't find it. Coconut? It's very slippery. Coconut. Mm. Good. Mm. Oh, you like it now. Oh my gosh, I'm oh, so full. Guys. Try, Ivana. Try, try, try. I think try. this is similar to that, but it looks like dodo. Oh, jeez. Try. Mmm. Mmm. Coconut cassava. Almost like a sweet boubour. Like porridge. Good sweet description. porridge. Very smart girl. Really good. Very smart girl. So Yvonne, I'm gonna steal this white stuff oh, yeah. and go here. Sure. Just to not open two packages of white yeah. stuff here. So this is doodle, I think. You think that's doodle? I think so. Yeah, doodle. What is it? Uh, it's dodo. Really? I think so. Let me try. Looks like dodo. Tastes like dodo. Mm. Think it's yeah. dodo? I think so. No, but it's less. Dodo is more like dense. This one is like more. This is not dodo. It's lighter. I think this white stuff is egg. I think it's coconut milk, man. Oh, it's so slippery like egg. I think it's coconut milk. <laughs> Um, I prefer the cassava one over the brown one. Yeah, me too. Both good, but the cassava one really gets the spot. So okay, Ivana, you gotta do some more desserts. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> okay. I bought the milk over here. Ugh. Okay, I'm taking over because Steve is full. Mm. We got koi akak, a famous koi. We tried it already, and Steve loves it. It tastes like egg. Yeah, this is one of the best koi you can have. Most mm. filling and satisfying, and almost like a meal replacement. Moist and mm. yummy. Really moist in the inside, and this one you can really taste the cinnamon. Cinnamon. You got cinnamon. Oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a pancake. Ah, uh, you make me want to try it. French toast. Here, try one. <laughs> I feel so full. Uh, are you full already? No, no, it's okay. Hmm. This is the best koi I've had. Oh, you're Don't right. Would you agree? Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Nice flavor in there. Cinnamon or nutmeg or something. It's from Sorry, Zone Ako Brangan. Mm. Really nice. Okay, next one. Mm, how do you open this? Here you go. Mm. I think this is tofu. It's not dessert. More like tofu. That's for you. That's right. That's the type of tofu, when I first saw it, I thought it was bread. And all the comments made fun of me. What is it? Your eyeballs popped out so your head. So good. It's so good. What is it? Try it. It's gonna surprise you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell you. Looks like bread. Oh, it smells like, like chicken. You don't, you usually don't like tofu, but I think you like this one. I usually don't like tofu, it's true. Whoa. 
I had stuff with potato. Yeah. Mm. Look, it's like tofu stuffed with mashed potatoes inside. It's kind of nice. It's Don't like the tofu part though. The texture is always so weird. <laughs> when you chew it, it feels like it's like squishy and like it feels like it's wet. <laughs> the potatoes inside are quite nice though. That was a nice surprise. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. a nice surprise. You're right about that. Mmm. Ah, pretty good. Pretty good. By the way, guys, did you notice anything special on the wall? <laughs> special thanks to Ayan Cafe. We're on the wall of fame, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Ayan Cafe, for having us. This is all good food. Amazing. I think mm -hmm. we finished everything you wanted. Mm -hmm. So, so. Uh, let's have some favorites. Mm, okay. My favorite from all of the rice that we tried. Ta da da! This Nasi one. Impet. Nasi Impet. Yeah. It's just, I don't know what's in this place, but it's like so good. You guys, if you know the recipe, share with me because I like it a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. super addictive. For my favorites, I would say uh, Daging Toronto and Nasi Berlauk. Wow. Thai. Thai. Which is amazing that uh, fish is on my top, right? Wow. Clearly improving, but these two are just amazing. I thought you would choose the chicken one. No. The beef, this one here, Ivana, probably the best thing I had all day. Wow. So good. Okay, Ivana, what's your favorite part for the roti? For me, the roti, by far, is the uh, pao. Oh, pao, yeah. The I like pao, pao was too. so nice, and the, and the uh, French toast. But the pao was like, on another level. Yeah, I like the pao. So good. It's very soft. Mm. And for dessert, I like this one. Same. That dessert was so good. That was okay. amazingly surprising what is and this delicious. Called? It's just cassava and, just cassava coconut, and coconut. coconut. But do they, does this dish have a name? Who knows? Maybe. There you have it, guys. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we got some white coffee, mm -hmm. some coffee to take home. Oh, Thank that's you again, exciting. Iron Coffee. Yeah, that's exciting. Looks yeah. good. Mm. Really good stuff. So there you have it, guys. What an epic feast. Mm. And like I said earlier, we will take the food home. We're not going to waste all this food. We've got enough food for two days easily. Just mm -hmm. amazing. I'm still eating. <laughs> still eating, yeah. I'm so full and I'm still going to eat more. That's the, that's the reality of Malaysian mm -hmm. food. You're full and you keep eating. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Thank you, Malaysia. There you have it, guys. Good so food. thanks for watching our video. Good food in Kuantan. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel. And see you on the next vlog. Bye. Later.